To my mind, if I look back in the past, the one line of poetry that I find most memorable is Shelley's To a Skylark, where, when he says, our sweetest songs sing of saddest thought. And when I think about that line, I think where it bridges the gap between the two worlds is both the world of music and the world of management are worlds in pursuit of continuous change. Musicians have been known for ages to be rebelling for change against whatever system they find themselves in. And management change is called transformation. I know it's a dirty word, but that's what all management across the world today is focused on. So let's start with management. The issue with change in management today is management is actively seeking growth in a world post-recession where growth has died. Consequently, what is required is creativity and innovation. Unfortunately, the one thing that does not have creativity and innovation is what is called the system. And that is why it is high time for the world of management to start rebelling against the system and explore individual creativity. And music has, ever since it was born, been rebelling against the system. Musicians have known this for many years and managers are today beginning to discover it. If you look at creativity and innovation, the one thing that can never offer it is the system. I think when I look at my band and the things that music has taught me, this eternal dissatisfaction with the present is what drives a band to discover its own sound. A band will never rest satisfied till it discovers the uniqueness in its sound that nobody else has to offer. Much against popular perception, musicians are not an easy-going, laid-back bunch. They do put in a huge amount of effort in order to discover that sound. Let me take a song that we've recently created. It's called Welcome. I wrote the song, but I was extremely dissatisfied with the chorus. Our lead guitarist Raja stepped in and did something to the chorus and suddenly it works. But Raja, unfortunately, isn't very happy with the bridge. On rhythm, Nitin came in and he did something wonderful and the bridge changed. But Nitin wasn't very happy with the way the rhythm was going. Our drummer, KK, came in and did something on the drums which changed the way the rhythm section worked. Today, all of us enjoy playing this song. It may not be the best song in the world, but it's something that we've come together and made happen. So, that seems to add another dimension. Dissatisfaction by the present, sorted by a group of like-minded people collaborating with each other to shore up each other's weaknesses. Sounds like something that could work? If we all live for a better tomorrow, what does that mean about how we should live today? In HCL and in contraband, I believe that we should put music back into management, even if it wasn't there in the first place.